Hi everyone and welcome back to the True Vine Connection channel. My name is Kim and I'm glad to have you all with me on today. Today we're going to do something that's quick and it's fun and it's going to be very useful for yourself as well as your children, grandchildren. Um, teachers might want to do this as well. We know that our children are back in school and they're going to have a lot of different um projects that they're going to have to do that might need lettering and different things like that. So, um, over the summer, this idea came back to me. This is something that we used to do as children, at least I did, playing with glue. So, what I did was I got me, um, I had these foam letters that I used to make, um, to, to do lettering on a um, poster board for something that I was, um, a project I was working on. And I still had them. I got these foam letters at the dollar store. And I thought, hmm, all I did was trace them out and painting them in. And I still had them. And I said, when we were children, we used to use glue. Me and my sisters, we would trace out stuff and put glue on and let it dry and have those shapes. We used to do it on coins and a lot of different things to get the impression. So what I did was I took one of these um, binder, this is made out of plastic, uh, dividers get those at the dollar store too. I bought a pack of these foam letters at the dollar store. I paid the dollar for them. You get all the alphabet plus the punctuation. Oops. And um, these uh, plastic dividers, I already had them and you're going to need this. You're going to need um, some dry erase markers. You want dry erase markers. I got a pack of them that have about five colors. I got them for a dollar. But dry erase markers and some regular school glue. If you want your um, letters to be in other colors, you can add a few drops. And I always keep my empty uh, glue bottles. So once you have an empty glue bottle or any type of little empty squeeze bottle like that, save those for this type of a project. Uh, and you can put um, a little of the glue from another bottle into an empty bottle and add just a few drops of acrylic paint or some type of um, like food coloring if you want to change the, the color of the glue because you want your letters to be a specific color or you can do things like use already glue that's already different colors you can use glitter glue all kinds of ways it's up to you so first of all what we're going to do is take our dry erase marker and we are going to trace around our, whoops, and you want to get it as neat as possible because this is going to be where we're going to um, put our glue. And once the glue has completely dried, then we will peel the letters off. And that's the reason why you want a um, to use something like these dividers. Oops. A little harder to do it from where I'm sitting, but you get the picture. Okay. And I'm just writing out, yes, glue, okay? So I'm going to do this off camera, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished uh, writing out my letters. This is something you need to know. Whatever color dry erase marker you're using, make sure it's a, a color that you don't mind having on your letters because the outline of the letter 
um, from the uh, dry erase marker is actually going to be on the one that you peel off. So let it be something that you're okay with. Maybe a nice contrasting color or something like that. Okay, let me clean this up a little bit. The other thing is, is this. When you look at the foam letters, you see the thickness on there. Well, let me use one that isn't the same color as my uh, mat that I'm using. So, depending on how thick you want your letters to be, that's how much glue you're going to use. And you want you don't want to use too thin of a coat. And you got to be, I'm going to show you how you want to apply it. And I uh, put some, uh, poured some of this uh, glue into one of my empty bottles that I had and I added some yellow a uh, couple of drops of yellow uh, paint to it want to shake it up again sorry about um, moving the camera when you uh, go to, to add your glue and you want to make sure that your uh, pl plastic sheet is on something I have this on some cardboard that is really something that's solid and stiff because you don't want this flexing if you need to move it out the way to let it dry and you got to give this ample time so if you know you're getting ready to do a project you know you want to make sure that you have ample time to let it dry now when you are starting out you want to kind of create a border and you can go right on top of the line but whatever the border is it needs to be neat so that's going to be your outside edge I still didn't shake this up well enough and once you make that little border you can go on from there and just fill it in and that initial border will keep your paint from uh, I mean I'm sorry your glue from running outside I would let it sit for a while before I would move it you want to make sure you don't have any streaks in it now the first ones that I did I initially just did the outline and you want to make sure you don't get any bubbles in that either. I'll burst that bubble. And I let it dry a little bit, let it set a little bit, and then I went back and filled it in. The thing about the, the first one I did, that Y, you'll be able to um, trim out that part it'll look better than what you think so you can start out by doing it like this let that dry and then once it's given a few minutes to dry then you can go back and fill it in but make sure that you stay close um, that you fill in that you don't have any gaps Alrighty, so I'm going to finish filling this in and be right back. Okay, so I've outlined these. One thing I will tell you is, is this. Just do the outline first because you see how this is spilling out. So you don't want to do it, fill it in right away. Do the outline first, let that sit, and then once it has um, set for a while, then you can fill it in because that outline will keep everything from spilling over. Okay, once it's set for a little minute, then you can go back in. And like I said before, you don't want to have any gaps you want it to uh, 
flow together. So when you peel it off, it comes off in one piece. Now, when you look at it from this side, you're thinking like, oh, that's not going to look good. Well, I'll show you how it turns out. Okay. And, you know, maybe you have a bottle that has a keener tip or whatever. You'll figure out how to do it. You can do all kinds of shapes from different other, um, just practice with all kinds of different things. Again, you need to give this, you know, time to set. So if you know that you've got something that you want to do and, you know, at least have a day or so, this is good. If you want to have a continuous amount of letters that you want to be able to use, you don't want to spend a lot of money buying different packs of letters, just something different and fun. Practice it on other things. You always can reuse these foam letters. They're cheap. A dollar a pack. And then you can make it in the colors that you want it to be in. Okay. So we'll be right back. Okay. So... Once our uh, letters have dried, and these are dry, I know it kind of looks like that glue is wet in there, but it's not. It's dry. This is the side, uh, the shiny side. And as I told you, whatever um, color dry erase marker you use, that is going to be on your project. So now. You can trim them up with your scissors and get the part off that you don't want on there, like that. And you can also take a Sharpie or some other marker and you can color them in. Okay. If you want them to be a different color, and still maintain that line. And the reason why I said use a dry erase marker when you're um, outlining them on, on your plastic is because if you want to reuse that piece of plastic, you want it to be able to wipe that off or know that it'll come right off. But you can color these, you can put acrylic paint on these letters, uh, you can add glitter, or put gemstones, or whatever else you want after you made them. That's the reason why I like this, because these are more customizable, like I said. Once you have uh, finished um, them, you can just trim them up. And the good thing about these as well is, is that they are also reusable. Now, some of them, and then the other thing I want to tell you, when you are putting them down, make sure that you leave space between them. But if you have two to connect, you can just take that loose and trim them up. Okay, I hope, oh, one other thing I wanted to say is, is that uh, you might want to know how long did it take for these to dry, and they're pretty um, strong. These took, and because I did this and this is hot, it's hot out, it took, um, I gave them two days to dry, but if you put them in front of a fan or whatever, uh, they should dry pretty fast, but I would give them, you know, at least two days to get them, depending on now. But now that it's the fall, you probably won't need that much time for them to dry. But they turn out pretty good to me. Alrighty. That is it for this. I hope that you guys enjoy this. And if you just see me pull that piece of... Uh, out of there that I trimmed out you can see that these are pretty strong so I hope that you guys enjoyed this and um, that you will try it and see how it works for you some people might want to use these in some other projects and you 
rather than just spending money to keep because sometimes a lot of times when we buy these letters there are not enough of the multiple uh, letters that we need so we have to buy packs and packs of letters to get the ones that we we want this way you can make them you can have as many of them as you need if you need five E's you can make five E's if you want all your letters to be in the same color and you can't find them all in the same color there you go you can customize your colors or whatever it is that you want to do so I hope that you try this hope that you enjoyed it um, and if you are not subscribed to our channel please click that subscription button and give us a big thumbs up if you like this project feel free to comment in the comment section and if you comment in the comment section that I'm connected I am going to put your name on one of these leaves and then add you to our True Vine Connection family tree okay so until next time stay safe be blessed but most of all stay connected to the True Vine bye now